Hey there, today I have a video that was sent to me from Tico Solutions, the people behind uh, the Tico tent washers and cleaning solutions for your tents and other event products. Uh, it's talking about how to handle and clean a tent when it comes back from a situation where it could have been exposed to COVID-19. Uh, they did say I could rebrand it, you know, take out their logo, put my own logo in or whatever, but I just decided to leave it in. This video I didn't make, it is directly from them. Uh, and it's got a lot of great things in it. So here, take a look. Hey, Tico, Steve here. Today, I wanna to give you my take on uh, cleaning tent tops for the COVID virus. Huge topic for us, right? I wanna talk really high level about cleaning uh, products first, specifically chemicals. We build chemicals to clean tent tops so it's safe on the tent top and we'll remove any particle that we have on there, dust, virus, pollen, uh, grease, pollution, whatever, multitude of, of stuff on there, we build general cleaning chemicals to, to remove any one of those things. And each one of those chemicals has different ingredients in it, a multitude of ingredients to attack each one of those different type of particles. But our concern in these last few months has been specifically, how do we get the COVID virus off of our tent tops? Because at the end of the day, when those tent tops come back to us, we want to be able to clean them, look our customers square in the eye and our employees square in the eye and say, you know what? I feel really good that this piece of fabric no longer has COVID virus on it. That's what we want to do as ethical and moral business people. And that's what's being asked of us today, right? So let's back up. Quick, quick primer on general cleaning chemicals, right? Again, they're designed to get all different kinds of particles off of the tent top. The big question is, will that general tent cleaner get the COVID virus off the tent top or destroy it, right? I can tell you right now, we can't tell you with certainty that it will because we have not, all we have is theories. We can take a look at the ingredients inside of our general cleaning and say, you know what? That ingredient will kill some viruses or generally kills some viruses, but we can't unmistakably tell you that the ingredient in our cleaning chemicals for tents has been proven, we've done scientific tests on it, right? That's important to state up front, right? So let's go to cleaning kind of 101. Let's take a look down here. Let's, this chopping board is the surface of our tent. These three tablets here are COVID virus. They're attached to the tent top. What, how might we get these different viruses off of our tent top? By using our general cleaner. Our general cleaner might have a chemical in it or an ingredient in it that's designed to encapsulate this virus, encapsulate it, not change it at all, and carry it away. So you're gonna unstick it off that surface, encapsulate so it doesn't stick to anything else, and carry it away, right? That's one characteristic of different ingredients. Another characteristic would say, hey, we're gonna try to come in here and unstick this and encapsulate it, but that's not really working, right? So we're gonna need a different ingredient. That different ingredient might come along and kind of smash that up a little bit. In the case of a COVID cell, it would smash the out, it would get through the outer layer there. Now it's smashed up, we can remove that a little bit easier, right? We're gonna remove that a little bit because it's all smashed up. We've, we've changed the way that it bonds to there, right? So some of the ingredients might act like that. If those two things don't work, Maybe the third ingredient is going to make it a little more soluble in water. You know, we're going to pour our stuff over there and you can see this thing starting to fizz. It's, it's dissolving it, right? Making it go away and kind of disperse into the, into the water or whatever cleaning media that we're using there. Most of the time it's water, right? At that point, it's real easy. It's just taking, it's dissolving the whole thing. We're not even trying to un undo it. We're just changing the complete form of this. So if this was your COVID virus, bye-bye COVID virus, right? If this, if, if this was your COVID virus, right, over here, and you smashed it, bye-bye COVID virus, right? If this was your COVID virus over here, and you simply encapsulated it and threw it away, still bye-bye COVID virus, because it's not on your tent top, it's down the drain somewhere, but you'll still be able to look at that. So when we're talking about general cleaning chemicals, as the manufacturers and distributors, we know the ingredients that are in there. And we can take a look at any one of those ingredients and say, you know what, it probably does this dissolve, it probably does that crush, or maybe even encapsulate it and take it away, right? So with a fair degree of certainty, we can make those type of theories, right?
But understand, that's a theory. It's not proven of with the COVID virus and specifically. So it's an intelligent theory based on what we know about our cleaners and how they act with viruses in general, right? But we would be highly mistaken to lead you to believe that those ingredients in our chemicals for tent cleaning have been proven scientifically to attack the COVID virus in any one of these three methods, right? Because we haven't done that very specific test. That's where we get into the disinfectants that are listed on the EPA website, right? If you go on the EPA website, they give you a list of, the, uh, of disinfectants that have either been proven to kill a COVID virus or there's a high degree of scientific evidence that says it does, right? They've done all this work in labs that us as, as, as tent cleaning, general tent cleaning chemical distributors and science can't do. We don't have the labs, we don't have the COVID virus, we don't have electronic microscopes to tell you that. However, these disinfectants from the EPA do, right? So if you want a 100% foolproof, use those disinfectants, right? They're available through the distributors in the tent cleaning world, um, and you could use those. Then you could come by and use your general cleaner if you want like a, a, a double layer of, of proof for yourself. Disinfect it. The disinfectant is going to smash it up or dissolve it and take it away, the COVID virus. Then if you come through with your general cleaning to make sure that you got everything off of there, I would think that you could feel pretty comfortable about looking at their customers and your employees square in the eye with a high, high, almost 100% degree of confidence to say that, you know what, that COVID virus is off, you're safe, go about your day. Tico Steve here, I hope this helps.